Hi everyone, welcome to The Feature, a podcast presented by A&M Kingsville's Features and Special Articles class. I am Jacqueline Barrera, and today I am going to tell you a story about Destiny Elise Henderson, a former Tamuk sprinter for the women's track and field program. I hope you enjoy this story. Henderson in the Fast Lane A woman of strength with a heart of ambition, the young soul of the strong-willed Dallas native Destiny Elise Henderson continues to strive for greatness within her community and career as a businesswoman. Henderson remains grateful for the days of being a collegiate student athlete, the long nights and early mornings that came with discipline, accomplishing the greatest achievement not once but twice while only being 22 years old. Henderson, a proud alumnus of two esteemed universities, earned her bachelor's degree from the University of Texas at San Antonio, UTSA, in multidisciplinary studies with a focus in business in the fall of 2018, and a master's degree from Texas A&M University Kingsville, Tamuk, in international business with a certificate managing people in the global enterprise in the spring of 2020. Transitioning from UTSA to Tamuk was the scariest and best choice of my life. As a Dallas native, I will always be a city girl, but my heart and love grew for Kingsville and this amazing community, Henderson said. My time at Tamuk was nothing but amazing. I found an incredible church family. I met two of my best friends who just so happened to also be teammates and have created some long lasting friendships. Throughout her years spent as a Javelina, Henderson broke barriers and claimed titles. The accomplished athlete was recognized as a 2019-2020 recipient of the D2 ADA Academic Achievement Award, 2019-2020 Gil E. Steinke Award, and All-America by U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association. Ryan Dahl, head women's cross country track and field coach, said Henderson was a powerful asset to his program. She overcame a year off prior to competition last spring and yet still managed to run the fastest 60 meter in the Lone Star Conference indoor season, Dahl said. I was grateful for the work she put into her indoor season and I know she would have had a tremendous outdoor season had it come to an abrupt pause. Despite the challenging days that involved juggling schoolwork, a job, meets, and practices, Henderson owes it all to her wonderful parents who served as her greatest influences throughout her entire career. Growing up, I remember I used to beat all the boys in my class at foot races, almost as if it was nothing, Henderson said. Come to realize later that my dad was known for holding multiple records at multiple schools. Eventually, I fell in love with the sport of track. While the days of athletic competition have come to an end for Henderson, her work ethic continues to serve as an inspiration to many of her former teammates and coaches at Tamuk. Mark Kinley Baloney, a former Tamuk sprinter and graduate assistant, said Henderson's willingness to take constructive criticism and use it to further herself was unmatched. She brought a much-needed leadership to the women's team that was full of youth. Her experience while at a Division I level added that extra competitive edge, Baloney said. Her work ethic was great. She always worked for more and more. Henderson's energy and determination skills are now used to further her passions and goals in the business world. In life, we are going to be challenged and knocked down so many times, but what matters is how we rise up and move forward from that same situation, Henderson said. There were meets and practices where I felt horrible and not enough, but I always knew that I was better than that one moment. There was something more for me on the other side if I chose to keep going. Our worst moments do not define us, but rather how we show up from it. The legacy of Henderson stands high and endures in the lives of future generations. Her story and character will remain confident and courageous. Henderson is brave, in the eyes of adversity, and bold enough to create the life she deserves. Thank you all so much for listening to The Feature. Visit our podcast weekly for more stories about interesting people, places, and issues. You won't regret it. See you soon.